Well, for every bottle or can of soda, water, or beer you buy in our state, you pay an extra five cents for the California Redemption value. That's supposed to be a deposit that you get back when you recycle. But a consumer advocate group says Californians are getting ripped off, and now when his newsreader Rob Hayes crunches the numbers. Most Californians see plastic bottles and aluminum cans, but some consumer activists see a statewide ripoff. This is a piggy bank for Sacramento politicians. Scam, scam, fix the recycling system. The folks over at the Consumer Watchdog Group releasing some bottled up rage. Jamie Cord is the president of that group, which just released this 20 page report blasting California's bottle deposit program. It's easy to forget that when you buy a bottle of water or a can of soda, you're paying an extra five cent deposit. Add those bottles up and the state is collecting more than one and a half billion dollars each year. But good luck getting your nickel back. Consumer Watchdog says the average Californian collects roughly half of what they've paid. Consumers are basically forfeiting their money. But Consumer Watchdog says it's not that people don't want to recycle their bottles and cans, it's that it's ridiculously hard to find a redemption center. People get frustrated, they put all of their empties in the trash. So one recommendation is make all these major chains take the bottles back. But the study says collection spots are disappearing at an alarming rate, especially in LA County. Over the Years ending in 2017, it lost more than a hundred places where you could drop off your cans and bottles, the highest in the state. The recycling program is run by Cal Recycle, which told Eyewitness News the centers are private businesses, which have closed due to economic conditions and despite increased subsidies from the state. A consumer watchdog says Cal Recycle allows too many retailers like grocery stores and Walmart to skirt redemption responsibilities, leading to a lack of drop off centers and more bottles put curbside, which is a money maker for the trash industry. The beverage makers, the curbside haulers, the grocery chains, the people who plunk down political contributions, take it out of your pockets on your bottle deposits. That should end. What should start, the group says, is a 10 cent deposit. Court says making bottles more valuable would also increase the number of recycling centers. But will Californians be willing to pick up that tab? In Carthay Square, Rob Hayes, ABC7.